it's early spring and small wolf spiders are out and about. Hold on, this one looks almost dead. No, it's not dead but paralyzed by the spider wasp, Anopleus. Females have overwintered underground and are now fully active, looking to find the right plot of earth to dig a small tunnel and chamber. Excluding the polar regions, a nobleous species can be found on both hemispheres. They are not a small wasp and can reach lengths up to 15 millimeters. Unlike other wasp species, Anopheus are not social insects and don't form colonies. At the end of the tunnel, which could be several centimetres long, they will make a small chamber. They fly off silently, often many metres away. Anopleus paralyzes its victims with alpha pompilidotoxin. Alpha pompilidotoxin affects neuronal activity by delaying the inactivation of voltage-gated sodium channels. What this means is overexcitation of neurons and disrupting synchronized firing leads to the paralysis. There is yet another toxin found within the venom of Anopleus, that is anoplin which can form pores in membranes selectively permeable to cations. Anoplin has been shown to be involved in the paralysis of other arthropods. For this genus of wasps, the effects of paralysis from their toxins can last from one to several hours duration. More than enough for them to make a long journey, equivalent to several kilometers in human terms, back to their burrow with their victim. Watch its movement now as it makes a figure of eight pattern before returning to the burrow. Why does it do this? As yet we do not know. Could it be that they drop their prey in order to take bearings of their present location? Once underground in the small chamber, the wasp will lay an egg on the spider and eventually entomb it.